afternoon, viewers of the tube. My name is Tyler of Chico Crypto, bringing you another episode of Crypto and a Gold One. Today's guest who gets to shower my throat with their alcohol -y goodness is Round Midnight Belgian White. It's a Belgian style wheat ale from Rochester, New York, Trouble Brewing again. So let's get in some trouble today, boys and girls. Mm. I've been feeling like drinking a beer all day, so. Mm. All right. So, the Stellar Network. A few weeks ago, I touched on the IBM partnership and what it means for the network. Well, it's a breakthrough for payments technology because it allows banks to use digital currency and blockchain software to move money across borders throughout the South Pacific. The price of Stellar hasn't reacted much to this news, but this is what's happening. The altcoin market is down right now. Nothing in the top 20 is going to be making big moves until something really big and tangible happens. Currently, the price of Lumens is about 3.6 cents, up about 5% from yesterday. Now, the IBM partnership with Stellar is very significant, but something else pretty significant is about to happen on the Stellar network. The Mobius ICO. Well, the pre-sale is already opened and already 10,000 people have registered to participate. The demand actually calls coin... Um, I think it's CoinNest, to be overloaded, so they moved on a new company to handle the ICO, Identity Mine Global. The presale is closed on the 22nd, and the presale minimum um, is $20,000 to participate. And I think that's out of the reach of most people, especially watching my channel. Well, the sale for the public opens on November 22nd. And will run till December 22nd or until the hard cap of 39 million is reached, including pre sale. Payments accepted are, of course, Stellar Lumens, but they will also accept Ethereum and Bitcoin. There will be a total of 888 million Mobius. Um, pretty funny, the Mobius logo looks like those three eight sideways. And the Mobi ICO pricing goes as follows check out this picture. Well, for those of you who would love to participate in Mobius, but don't have the funds, it looks like you could earn some free Mobius. Mobius has started the show Mobius Love Protocol, or Proof of Love. Basically, it's a marketing program where community members can participate by showing love for Mobius and spreading the word. You can write a blog post and spread it, review the project on your website, Share Mobius across the web, Telegram groups, Discord, adding dApps to the dApp store, inviting people to join Rocket Chat. There's many, many ways you can earn Mobius. You're just going to have to fill out um, a Google form with your email, first and last name, and provide a link to what you did. So screenshots um, work hosted by Imager will also work for that Google upload. I'll post the um, link to that as well. So, some big news from the Mobius team, and the significance hasn't been quite understood. Mobius has recently launched a universal API that connects any app, website, web app, device, or data source to the Stellar and Ether blockchains. So, any app can accept Mobi tokens by registering the app in the Mobius Network's dApp store. And the dApp store is already functioning, which satisfies a Chico crypto pillar to success. So, Mobis can be exchanged for other tokens or conventional currency on exchanges, or it can become credits within the application. The ease for developers is also something that will accelerate development in the dApp store. To connect an application, the developer signs up the dApp, and a few clicks later, the app can accept Mobis through the store. Say the dev wants to set up a standard checkout with a shopping cart to accept any um, Ether or Stellar based token, the API can be deployed. Via this API, the app can make an HTTP call to Mobius's Stellar blockchain, like the way Stripe lets retail apps enable payments directly in their store. David Gobod says Mobius is the first project with a Stripe like approach 
that enables access to complex infrastructure of blockchain tokens and end up recording with a function call. Eventually, Mobius will have API-like fees um, like Stripe, but for the moment, the use of the API and store is free to promote development. Now, I want to move on to some Neo news and to let you guys know which projects in the space to stay far away from. Aphelion. I'm almost 100% certain this project is a scam and money grab. I was in SF at the Neo Dev Meetup 2, and one of the team members of Aphelion was there. I asked if he would like to do a quick plug for Aphelion because I had heard of it. And the guy got really weird saying he didn't want to be on camera. And basically he got away from me once he had found out I was a YouTuber. Major red flag right there. Now, a guy by the name of CryptoLark, I'm sure some of you guys have heard of him, is plugging it as we speak. Screw you CryptoLark for promoting a scam project. I feel bad for his followers. You know he was paid a good amount of money by Aphelion to speak about them. Here's another weird thing. From the Aphelion video AMA, the only goddamn comment is from CryptoLark 23 hours ago. So blatant he is getting paid from him. This just feels like a scam to me and CryptoLark, I can't believe you'd put your viewers in jeopardy. The next project on NEO, well not necessarily on NEO, but it's using the NEO name to get money. NEO Gold. The project calls themselves the new Ethereum. They don't even have a white paper, and it's an ERC-20 token built on Ethereum. On their website, they say they are already getting listed on Binance, Bitfinex, and Bitrex. Whole lot of bull freaking shit. I'm thinking about starting Neo Cash. Will you guys invest? Well, I thank you viewers for watching this episode, and I hope my knowledge has been some sort of use for you guys and gals. Peace. Chico's out.